Hello and welcome to the Space Between Ideas. We're back with Hugh. Hello, Hugh. You're looking Hello fantastic. Hello again, Blaine, and all of our audience. To crucial insights again. <laughs> so your your office here is uh, looks like it's changed a little. My office has changed a little. I'm in my father's office in Dublin, and I ha even have a map of the world behind me <laughs> if I feel like traveling, which isn't really possible at this stage, but getting from Russia to Ireland was possible. Getting anywhere else probably isn't possible. You need good reasons now to travel in July 2020. Well, what was it like, uh, like returning back to Ireland? Uh, what was it, was a, it was a very strange travel experience, actually, because I flew on the Friday, the 26th of June from Moscow to Dublin, via London, actually. And when I went uh, to the airport in Moscow, it was very quiet. Um, and the flight went as, as normal. There was a social distancing as much as possible on the plane. Some people did sit beside each other, but most people had a gap of a couple of seats between them and other passengers. It was more of a charter flight. It wasn't even on the website. Um, so I had to arrange permission from my Irish embassy in Russia to the Ministry of Internal Affairs in Russia to get permission to come back to Dublin to sign forms to say that I was going to self-isolate in my parents' home for two weeks, which I've been doing. And then I arrived in Heathrow and I was in Heathrow for about four hours and so I was walking in Heathrow for at least five minutes and didn't see anybody. Like something out of a horror movie. Imagine walking through any airport and not seeing anybody for five minutes. So that was kind of eerie and bizarre yeah. at the same time. Yeah. And then I arrived in Dublin and, uh, you know, you need to self-isolate. I had to give the police the form, immigration police the form. And they said, yeah, so good luck. Enjoy so this day. is the room you've been sitting in for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, well, I've been in the house and I've been just... Uh, Ah, we, we, there's a garden here, so at least it's not an, a, an apartment situation. And I get out for walks near um, home, and I don't, I don't go too far. I go to the shops, really, but not, not very far. All right, well, let's jump into your... Uh, well, it sounds like you've been pretty busy with traveling and trying to figure out how to traverse the new reality. And mm -hmm. So how are you yep. doing with the endeavor? Well, we're making some progress with the, I mean, the, the websites, um, okay, last time we, we checked in, we were talking about the artist's way, mm -hmm. and we, I uh, have, we, I finished the artist's way, I haven't published it yet, there's, there's, one, there's one more thing I need to put on the artist's way, and it's a little video, and I actually, I think we, we spoke about it, you have probably told me about it originally, it's a video with Loom, it's me doing a little video like this, not far from my uh, PC, and an introductory video of what the artist's way is about. So if I add that to the website, it's ready. The website now was done by, um, and I outsourced it to Sheesh in Bangladesh. And I think it looks okay. Honestly, it's not fantastic, but it's enough. I just want to have some information on the website. So um, the website is good. Facebook, I, I haven't done uh, much with Facebook at all. I, I have been looking at other people's Facebooks about like call to action and um, what else about having a just a phone icon, phone WhatsApp icon on the Facebook page. So the Facebook pages seem to have a lot more features now, but honestly, I haven't moved further with my own designing or launching Facebook page. Okay. Uh, so I just added probably you need a list of people. I actually do have that list. Yeah, I, mean, I, I have a list at the moment that I've been that I've saved in them. Um, Google Docs. So there's a list ready to invite people to the next artist's way. Now, initially, I thought it was going to be July. It's not going to be July now. I have to be practical. <clears throat> there's no reason why it can't be August. Mm -hmm. So the list of people to send the letter to is also going to be me developing a... Now, is it a webinar or is it just a video presentation? I think it's a video presentation and it's me sending people a letter to the site with the video presentation have you created the video presentation and 
I have some video presentations, but none for the artists where no, I haven't yet now. Okay, so I have an idea. Let's, uh, so let's look at this last one. So it says, consider the process of the customer to make a decision. So in possibly one way to make an uh, introductory video, like a video where you're introducing people and inviting them to mm -hmm. join your program would be to use the state impact checklist. We wanna take a look at the process that people go through when they're thinking about whether or not to take the course <laughs> And that will give us some, uh, some understanding of um, what to put in a video where you are inviting people. So mm -hmm. we're, we're kind of like trying to look at the way they're looking at your program and mm -hmm. then design your, the content of the video around the decision that they need to make. So look, I'll click back. Mm -hmm. So you see here, we have two state impacts now. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the one that we were using to uh, discuss and to think about uh, how you are going to get people to sign up. Mm -hmm. And that's when we started talking about business clubs mm -hmm. and sending them a letter, online marketing, uh, creating a webinar, and then reaching out to people with social media. And then looking at different demographics. So we were looking at all these different things for who, how to reach out to people. So it sounds like you've kind of settled on one way to reach out to people uh, through creating uh, possibly an invitation letter. But it sounds more like you want to create an invitation video that explains invitation it. Invitation video. I mean, invitation video to... To me, yeah, I mean, let, let's, let's go through it now. I mean, what's, what's the content of the video? Um, I guess it's part of it. This is the scenario, yeah? Yeah, so we could actually, okay, so let's do this one first. Uh, let's talk about, now the scenario. So the scenario is there's a, a, there's a person, a somebody in Moscow or another city that is considering... Um, Registering, registering, or taking the course. Yeah. Taking the course. Okay. Now, there's a couple of things that they need to think about. They can, they can take your course. Uh huh. They could take another course. They well, they could, could just read the book and not do the course. They could read the they book. Self-study, for example. They could self-study. They could, and then they could uh, sit at home and do nothing. So yeah. now, what's <laughs> Yeah, watch TV. All right. So, what are the similarities? So, when they, when a person is sitting around in in Moscow or in, in another mm -hmm. city, some of these mm -hmm. people that you're going to connect to uh, through your video, what is the decision when they see your video? What is the decision that they have to make? What's the scenarios? What are the scenarios that they are thinking about? Um. Well, the decision they have to make is: is this for me? Is it going to help me be more? confident is it going to help me is this for me is it going to all right so that's a metric right so um so that's something they want they want to they want to feel confident yeah okay want to boost confidence yeah feel more confident okay mm -hmm. feel confident yeah all right so they might take uh now so if they take your course they will feel confident if they take another course let's say like an english course they won't mm -hmm. get the same benefit mm -hmm. i mean what are the so because if you're a person in moscow and you have a little bit of time on your hands you're considering taking some kind of education uh right. like your course isn't the only option they see yeah, it. sure and then they also maybe they're online they're looking at some uh online teachers or mm -hmm. maybe there's like a university and they have like a little university course. Maybe mm -hmm. they have online courses that are selling video courses. So they have support and motivation from this course. I mean, I guess it's uh -huh. to, to interrupt you. This is the big thing as well. You have, you have a like-minded support of like-minded people. Good. That's a good, uh, which gets you, which gets us into the accountability area because you're, you feel accountable. I spoke to a number of people yesterday about, well, I, I had the, co the course restarted yesterday after a break and some people were making progress. Some people weren't, some of the people that weren't making progress, they felt guilty. And I said, look, don't worry about it. You have to do this at your own pace. And 
Now, having said that, on the one hand, just don't worry about it, but on the other hand, you don't want to be left behind. So the accountability is good. The transparency is good. They're just, they're just saying, look, just being honest with yourself and being honest with other people. I didn't get to do my pages. I didn't get to do my tasks, but they're not going to be met with judgment either. So it's a community spirit. I mean, are these metrics or are they just uh, qualities of the online course? Well, the See, thing is, so the, the, the scenario, so for me, what's happening is you have a person in Moscow and they're trying to make a decision about yeah. should they take your course? Should they take an English yeah, course? Yeah, or do something else, yeah, or anything else online, yeah, for example. Mm -hmm. And in the video, I think that you can address the, that, that people are out there and mm -hmm. they are thinking about what to do with this time and how to best use the time. Mm -hmm. And maybe also address that there are some other options that these people could be taking. But if they're looking for these metrics, for example, if you're looking for something that will help you feel confident, and if you'd like the support of like-minded people, if you'd like to have a sense of accountability in your studies, and if you would like to have the feeling of community spirit, then you're going to want to take my course. Because, mm -hmm. for example, if you, if you buy uh, like a video course where you're just watching videos, you're not going to have uh, the, that same... Uh, support mm, dynamic yeah. yeah you're not sure and if you choose an English teacher online well maybe you can improve your English a little bit but are you going to be able to feel confident this program is to help you to improve yourself mm -hmm. yeah I mean it's about uncovering goals as well it's, I mean it, it is self-improvement yeah I mean it's discovering what's the word well it's going deeper into your goals as well I mean, you have your goals, you have your mission, you have your vision, but it's, it's the, the, what's the word? The added value of um, goal sharing. And again, it comes back to accountability. Like it is goal, sh goal sharing and progress, for example. A lot of people have goals and they do nothing with them. Goal sharing and action. All right, so now find the similarities. So we have uh, take your course and then we have take another course and then let's just say uh, t take a video, uh, for example, English course with a teacher and then we also have buy a video course. Uh -huh. Let's just say that those are the three options that, that somebody has. What are the similarities? Uh, r related to these metrics? So are they gonna be able to feel confident if they uh, study English with another teacher or if they buy some kind of depends video. on the teacher. I mean, they, they should feel confident. Yeah, I'd say that's a similarity. People generally do feel confident. Okay. And how about the support? What's the different? Uh, what's the similarity of support? I don't think you're going to get any support if you're doing it. Well, you mean it's, it, if it's an individual, okay. <laughs> Again, it depends on the um, the number of people you're you're working with. You won't get support if it's individual. You won't get support with a video course. You won't get support with the video course. Yeah, you have to do it yourself. Yeah. But you could uh, get support with the group lesson or the group. Men. English teacher, mm -hmm. but much more with a group mm -hmm. setting of people who are there to improve. Okay. So yeah. there's like there's like an understanding between everyone that we are here to improve. Yeah, yeah. I will help each other out. Yeah, mm, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. How about accountability? Yeah, you only have accountability to the teacher. I mean, if it, if it, if you get back to with the video course, there's no accountability. You can mm -hmm. choose to do it yourself. You have accountability with a teacher if the teacher is strict with you, but you're not a child, so it's up to you. No accountability, up to you. But with the artist's way, there is accountability. We can say there's social pressure. Yeah, yeah, okay, that sounds better, yeah. Mm -hmm. to, to complete the course, to complete tasks and the course. Okay, good, interesting. Mm -hmm. Community what spirit. Else? 
So um, are, if, if these are similarities and differences you're putting into similarities area, are, is there going to be content in fine differences or does there need to be? Yeah, okay. Uh, the differences are below. Uh -huh. Okay, so I guess you've covered the similarities and differences yet in both. Okay, so accountability. Um, there is a community spirit. I mean, because community... Okay, so com community spirit is, um, is possible with group... Okay, with the... Would not... Would be... Would it? Sending, sending. Okay, through social media, through sending messages. Yeah, okay. On a That's message something. board. Yeah. Um, with English. Well, with it, with There's an no English. There's no community. I don't know if there is community. Is there community spirit with an English? I don't think so. To be honest. No, even actually, even when you have students, like if you have a group class, uh, yeah. you often have people that are competing with each other. And yeah, yeah, there's going to be clicks. There's going to be like groups of two or three people that will say, ah, oh, we're friends and we're not friends. So yeah, there's a there's more competitiveness than a community spirit, I think. So the, there's no competition with the artist's way. The artist's way is not about competition. Building, building competencies. No, all right. So I think that the, the community spirit, the social, the self-improvement goals and uh, what about social self-improvement is kind of similar to goal sharing and action. I mean, I feel like I'm just typing the same thing over and over and over again. Uh, well, con confidence, support, accountability, community, you think community spirit is the same as self-improvement and goal sharing? Hmm, I disagree. Community spirit is having, okay, support and community spirit are quite similar. Um, okay, self improvement. So, if you take a video course, you can you can get some self improvement. Sure. Yeah. So, and also with English. So, with with all of them, with all of the choices. Yeah, people can improve themselves. Some degree of self improvement. All right. So, finally, we have the the last one would be goal sharing and action. Well. Again, it's up to you with the goal sharing and action, but if people, I mean, if I go to share my goal of writing a book, I need to, I need, it's always up to you, up to the person, up to the individual, up to the person about whether they will accomplish their goal. Um, having, again, the like-mindedness of the people, the right like-minded behavior, the benefit of having a group of like-minded people. A group of like-minded <clears throat> people. people is powerful. It's powerful. Yeah. There are more uh, reminders mm -hmm. and a group to support progress okay all right so let's uh we got this one okay so this helped us to look at uh some of the factors that a person would consider when they are uh thinking about whether or not to join a course let's jump back into the state progress checklist because in the past we discussed the opportunity to write a letter and now we can use the same state progress checklist that we used earlier to, to build a letter and we can just kind of change it a little bit for an introduction video. Mm -hmm. All right, so if you're giving an introduction video, um, it's possible that you could start it out. Like what, what's your general thoughts about how, what you're gonna say in your, your the video that you're gonna say? Um, my general thoughts are, Join me on this journey of self-discovery and uh, dis discover the goals that you want to achieve. Meet people who also have goals and who will help you meet your goals. And 
what's the word? Appreciate, recognize, um, give thanks to not give thanks, but yeah, be be grateful. My my, let's see. Find goals, um, share goals, find support, take action. Find goals, share goals. Well, wh wh why are we removing this now? It's uh, I would have to think of some plan to for for me and your future clients to be able to look at this because I don't know how to look at this now. All right. So imagine. Okay. So let's let's say that if if it was me. Uh, just just doing a little brainstorming with you about okay. like say it was my my little program I was going to teach the artist way and I wanted okay. to use the state progress checklist to introduce the program now okay. we we just finished discussing um, the uh, state impact checklist and mm -hmm. what that checklist helped us to do is to realize that the student has many decisions that they will make like everyone has a lot of decisions we right now we have a little bit of time and mm -hmm. now we have the opportunity to also uh, take courses online if we'd like to. And mm -hmm. so maybe like, think about this. Okay. Uh, hello everyone in Moscow. Um, perhaps you're sitting at home right now and you're trying to think about whether you should take an online course. In these days, you have many options. You could buy a video course, you could find an English teacher, or you can join a group that can help you to improve your confidence and realize who you are as a person. What are some of the things that you're, uh, that would influence your decision? Possibly you're looking for a group of people that can help you to make goals and accomplish those goals. Perhaps you are looking for a way to express yourself and feel more confident. And perhaps you're just looking for a group of like-minded individuals that can help you as you move toward uh, some bright future. Well, you're in luck. If you are uh, hoping to increase your confidence and feel motivated, then come join the artist way. In the artist way, you will feel greater self care. You'll have the opportunity to do some writing. You'll have the opportunity to share your thoughts with some of the other students in our course. You will develop yourself and you'll feel like you're learning. These are the benefits that you can receive from this course that you probably wouldn't receive from just taking an English class or ordering some kind of online video course. In order to join our course, all you need to do is contact us via this pay uh, in the WooCom. Hey. The course is approximately three months, um, which is about 12 weeks. We will have our course for about two hours a week where you'll be talking with me. I will give you about two to three hours per week of exercises. So there's about a, a total commitment of about five hours. The ideal person who would choose my course would be a person who is seeking self-awareness, uh, somebody who's looking for change. Mm -hmm. I think the ideal would probably be at the start of the video or, or closer to the start of the, the video. And even now it's probably too much content. Uh, the video the video won't take too much to get done. <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I see your point though. I need to okay. think about what the, so is, is this another checklist there doesn't need to be a separate checklist. This this checklist was for the letter, yeah? Yes. This checklist was for the email, okay. Well, the email and the video are going to have the same content. Exactly, and that's what I was thinking. So you mm -hmm. can, this checklist helped us to kind of like, to take all the little pieces of content that should be included in a letter or in yeah. a video. And yeah. the, the other checklist that we just looked at is just <clears throat> adding the aspect of, students will have they're making a decision with about two or three other options of similar types of education and there could be a benefit to helping them to realize um, that the benefits they will get from your course are not being offered by those other options yeah so it's kind of having a list of the yeah, benefits and uh, usps of doing the artist way rather than just signing up for an english course mm -hmm. yeah okay makes sense yeah so when do you, what's, what does your timeline look like? Let's just make a little uh, note about how, how you see the future um, unfolding. So now are these going to be, um, before we see how the future is going to be unfolding, are we going to uh, consider the pros? Okay, well, we've done that. Yeah. Okay. Um, are we going to leave these here then? 
Yeah, so we still need to do all, we need to look at all these things. Um, okay. I think that possibly we're adding one thing to this process. Yeah. Which would be you're now creating video. a video. Uh huh. Okay. So, well, here it is. I can just change, uh, discuss the content of your. So instead of discussing, so we did, we discussed the content of your video. And now you want to make the. Mm. Create video. Create video. There you go. All right. So next time that I see you, uh, possibly we can look at a rough draft of your video. And then also let's take a look at that Facebook page and your website. So everything should kind of be ready to go. Uh, yeah, yeah. When we meet again. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah. We got a lot on there for the, um, for the video presentation actually as well. That makes sense. Uh, no need to reinvent the wheel as they say. Now again, um, how, how can, can I get access to this or is this all on your, where, where is this information stored? <laughs> so I can, I can send you, uh, like a link. And okay, then, you, you did that actually thinking what's up last time. Yeah, you did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'll have a look at it today as well. So either I can send you a link or I could also take uh, like screenshots for you and then send it to you. Or I could do mm -hmm. both. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever it is, I don't mind. Send, send me a link. It's fine. All right. So, yeah. So once you get into the link, it's really easy. You'll see this list uh, on your uh -huh. screen. Uh -huh. uh, well, maybe we could just do it right now. Now, can you actually click uh, the check mark to make it to check off one of the things on the list? No, I can't. Okay, so click the next to direct outcomes checklist. There's a little triangle. So under plan efforts via direct outcomes checklist, there's there's not that one, but uh, above. So okay, so there's a triangle. Oh yeah, plan efforts. Yeah. The triangle. Plan. Uh huh. This one's a blank one. So go. So the, at the top left hand corner. Yes, you can yeah. go back. And then above that line that says blank, uh, there's a direct outcomes checklist. It's like a triangle that's pointing to the right. I see it. Yeah, I can't click through the. If you click the triangle, it'll open up your. Now, the arrow. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now click the artist. This one's the teaching English business. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Artist way. There we go. Oh, now, okay. now I would open up, yes, this one and then build scenarios. Uh -huh. And this is where you have the uh, state progr progress. So this is for the video. So video. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I got it. Yeah. State progress checklist, email and video. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Okay, that's, that's great. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, and then cool. if you go in, if you open up, choose plans, the yeah. track, yes. And then look at the second state impact. Which is the one we just did today. That's the one we just did right now. Yeah. yeah so that'll yeah, give you some okay. more keywords to, to pull. Okay. And then so that makes sense, yeah. It, it's hard to have that. I mean, I, I don't know. So some people, I, I obviously take some notes when, when we have these um, these sessions. But at the end of the day, it's good to be able to obviously just see it yeah. on screen as well. So it's in front of you. So you have the resource right in front. So you have no excuse, basically. <laughs> because, <laughs> because even if I can see it, 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 it it, it increases the accountability for me because I can't go back to you and say, or I can't go back to anybody and say, hey, I didn't have the information. I didn't know what to do. You know, there's so many people that we, we come across and they say, oh, I couldn't do it because. So we want to reduce the becauses and increase the do it, as they say. Well, there's still, there's still just, you know, the, because I've been, I've been studying and using these direct outcomes checklists for about six years and I've spent mm -hmm. a lot of time planning and organizing and there's still something I can't, and I don't think I can find it within the direct outcomes checklist. It's, it's this one thing that even though you've made the plan, there, there's something that has to be done where a person actually crosses the bridge and the thing gets done. Anyway, Blaine, yeah, I think we've, we've made a lot of progress there, so I, it's, and it's always good. I mean, the fact that the way that I can, the world. Is hmm? there something I can do to, uh, to help you stay accountable with getting the video done? Um, you've already done it, actually, by introducing me to Loom. I mean, you, you, you told me about Loom before, so that's, I don't think there is, to be quite honest with you. And if, if, if there is, I'll let you know. The only thing I can think of is... Um, All right, thanks, it's good Blaine. to see you. Yeah, you too. Take care. So All right. Sure. Have a nice day, Blaine. Bye-bye. Okay, take it easy. Bye-bye.